Academy, pick up a couple of casualties. Sick of the fact that she have to be mad at me every day. I give it to her, then she throw it back at me. Yeah, I'm the best, actually. You asking me? This is a catastrophe. That's just the way that it has to be. Murder a rapper when I'm drunk or I'm half asleep. Being river about to make a masterpiece. I'm back to see my stack. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another three and three quarter inch Django Fett figure review video. Um, and I am so excited for this one. The day has finally come. I can open up these these two on the sides here. Um, I've had them for a while. Um, this was one of the, I think it was the very last one I got to complete my three and three quarter inch collection. Um, I should have them all now. Um, and I haven't opened these two. Yeah, these two are actually some of the more expensive ones to buy if you're a collector. Um, and I have not minded leaving them in the box in my collection because they look really great. Um, and they definitely pop and stand out from my other three and three quarter inches. Um, because they're all displayed next to each other and they kind of start to blend in with one another. Today I will be opening them and horribly devaluing them, um, and they will be put next to my other three and three quarter inches. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. A um, little bit of background on these figures. Um, this was the first one to come out, and it came out in the Evolutions uh, Django Fett Legacy, um, or just Fett Legacy boxes. Um, it was released in a blue box in 2008. Retailed for $19.99, um, currently sells for about $100. Um, the text on that box reads, The Mandalorians are proud people um, whose lives are based on war. For thousands of years, these skilled fighters have crisscrossed the galaxy on crusades of, con of conquest. They are feared and respected for their unparalleled battle skills and have left a blazing mark upon history. Mandalore the Indomitable is a le legendary leader from long ago. Jango Fett fathers the clone trooper army, and his son, Boba Fett, uses his Mandalorian skills to become the greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Then later, I don't think too much later, there was another red packaging of that uh, Evolutions. Um, and this figure I got was not actually from the Evolutions box, but it's a repack that's exactly the same. As far as I can tell, I can only find one resource saying that there's any difference between um, the Legacy Collection one that I got um, when I was little. I actually got that one as a kid and the Evolutions one. But from what I can tell in pictures, they're exactly the same. Um, See, so yeah, I will get back to these other figures in just a moment. Let's look at this one right now. This one has more of a, a bluish, and it's still kind of a purple color, but um, as compared to this other one, definitely has more of like a different color to the flight suit. Um, but we'll get to that one in just a minute. Um, it retailed for $7.99, and it was hard for me to get a current price on this one, because um, there are a few different repacks that are like very similar. Um, but that it sells for about 70 if you can find a sp specific one i could probably only find one listed and some people online there's like a couple of just crazy sellers who try and sell stuff for outrageous prices so yeah i don't know if that's truly accurate if this specific packaging of this figure would go for that much money um, but the text on that box it reads mandalorian warrior conceals his part of the creation of a clone army until the arrival of Obi-Wan Kenobi on Kamino. Fett reveals nothing to the Jedi, then, find the first, uh, then finds the first opportunity to flee the planet before the truth is discovered. Which is interesting, because Jango found out the truth before he even got to Jango Fett. <laughs> interesting. Um, but this one comes with a kind of a red packaging repack. Um, I don't know what that line is called. Um... That one retailed for $7.99. Don't really recall what it goes for. I'm about to look it up and add it on the screen later. Um, and the box text is the same, reads the same. And it's the same figure as the Evolutions figure. 
Um, it also comes in uh, episode two commemorative pack with uh, four, no, three additional figures with a clone trooper, Count Dooku, and Anakin. Um, and that retailed for $24.99. Um, I found one listed for $190, but who knows if that's a realistic price or not. I wasn't really sure on that one either. Um, and is it just another copy of the Evolutions figure? Uh, I made a note that I might have painted pistols, but it's pretty much exactly like the Evolutions figure. Yeah, and I'll take a closer look at the figure himself. Take him off his stand. He's actually one of the more articulate figure. All the other Jango Fett, three and three quarter inches, can't move their legs at all. But this one, you know, he can bend his knees, bends at the hip. And so he can do quite, his ankles bend too. He can do quite a few poses, which is great. That was, made this figure a ton of fun. I got this one as a kid, so that's why I don't have the box. Um, one of the first action figures I got, his range finder doesn't go down. Um, so I got to do a, a lot of, a ton of fun poses with this one. One of the more unsightly things about this figure is that the holsters are supposed to be attached to his leg, and these ones just kind of like float off the sides, and so that doesn't look very great. Um, maybe if you glued them down it would be nice. I don't know, it'd still be difficult, but then you'd probably lose some articulation as well, so... That's not the greatest, but he does have working holsters, and I love, love, love that when they come with that. Um, I think he's, yeah, articulated at his hips a little bit. Um, and then he's got a lot of articulation on his elbow, nothing at his wrist. Um, and then he's got articulation on his shoulder as well. Jetpack just pops out like that. Um... He does have these wires that go across where he's articulated, so you do have to be careful about that, that these don't snap while you're opposing him. Um, so that's kind of a pain. I mean, they look they look okay, they look good, but... Yeah, there are other figures out there that just... are built a little bit better than that, so they won't break. Helmet is removable. Not my favorite. Uh, head sculpt. He looks pretty white <laughs> to me. Um, and he does come with his Slave 1 pilot head gear. But I never pose him like that because, again, I don't really care for this uh, face sculpt of him. And even if he did have a good face sculpt, I almost always prefer to just display him with the helmet anyway. But they do have this piece in case you'd like to use it. Maybe if I put him in a Slave 1, then I would add this piece. But... Usually he's just displayed with my other three and three quarter inch figures. All right, that is it for this guy. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this is the Genosis Battle Pack with Colin Trevor, um, the Legacy Collection. Um, I guess it's called Arena Showdown, not Battle Pack. My bad. Um, and this figure doesn't cost too much, um, in like a regular three and three quarter inch. Um, but I actually really like the box, like the kind of pencil art on the side of Django is like really cool. So I did pay a little bit more to get the box just because I thought this box was a little bit more special and unique. Um, if you collect the other figures in this line, like this is number one of six, you can kind of display them. They kind of piece together. <laughs> and so that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> Look at this description on this box, and then we'll move on to the figure. <clears throat> so the, Je the Jedi Knights rushed to Geonosis to rescue Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme from execution. The Jedi brandished their lightsabers against the Geonosian warriors and the massive army of battle droids, super battle droids, and droidicos. All hope seems lost that any Jedi will survive this battle. Then Yoda arrives with an army of clone troopers. Although many Jedi are lost that day, others survive this climatic battle that ushers in the Clone Wars. So yeah, nothing really about Django, more just about the arena scene. But moving on to the figure, um, this one was released in 2009. Um, retailed for $12.99 and currently goes for about $40. Um, and the cool thing about this one is that he has a much more... 
probably see a little better there from the back. Much more like different shade of purple. I don't know why, if that was like some kind of mistake, if the character was putting some old mold or they're trying to like achieve some lighting thing with the kind of reddish sand on Geonosis. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I thought that was pretty cool. I thought, didn't know this figure really had any differences until I noticed like, huh, there's like a, like I think I saw somebody was selling like this purplish looking one, then I did more research and found that. Yeah, all the Jingos that were packaged in that arena showdown with Coleman Trevor are this more uh, different purple shade. Um, his helmet is removable just like the other one. Um, has the same face sculpt that I don't really care for. Um, he does not come with any like Slave 1 piloting headgear. And then my helmet unfortunately got a little smashed. But you never really see the back of his head so I guess it doesn't bother me too much and then yeah same posability articulation everything is the same on this figure same kind of ugly holster design <laughs> that I wish they had done differently but overall still really like the figure still a ton of fun sweet now time for the fun part let's get to a couple unboxings I am really excited for this part all right here we have the Star Wars Movie Heroes Jango Fett, that's the line of this one, is Movie Heroes. Um, came out in 2003, um, I think it was a Canada only release, um, it never came out in the US at least. Um, and that's probably what drives the price up on this one, I think everything with this Yoda art box um, wasn't released in the US, at least these Movie Heroes. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll... Uh, open this up <laughs> we'll witness all of the value go out of it <laughs> as i do that and then we'll keep talking a little bit more about the figure Look at that, I think this part of the package looked like it's been glued back together. I wonder if the seller had resealed it themselves and sold it to me. Cause yeah, ooh that's, that's on there pretty good. They really don't want me to open this do they? Alright, there we go, got them off. I ended up taking the the bubble all the way off the box, there's only one edge that's on, so I can kind of slip the figure out easy, but this one came all the way off. Um, like I said, it looked like this one had been uh, resealed by whoever sold it to me, because the bubble was a little bit off center, and there was like glue in weird places, um, so that's interesting, I don't ever recall seeing that in the ad when I bought it, I'll have to go and double check. There we go. Get him out. We'll take a look at this guy. If he'll come off. Come on. <clears throat> there he is. And the main difference between this one and the, uh, the other one that I had is that he has a different jetpack. These other two come with the Geonosis jetpack, and this one comes with the Camino jetpack. guy together see if he has an, any better of a, <laughs> a face sculpt than the other ones nope exact same sweet put that back on has the same articulation I anticipate same annoying wire on the elbow <laughs> Same ugly holster. Um, this one has a pretty awesome paint job, though. You have the black visor on this one. is pretty pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Uh, Rangefinder still doesn't go down. 
jetpack goes on like so. That's the really unique part about this figure. This jetpack. Let's see. Is it the same? Yeah, it's pretty much the same as these uh, kind of older. Yeah, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, as these older Jingo Fett um, action figures. Maybe I could have saved myself a little bit of money if I <laughs> just took uh, that jetpack and put it on this other figure. Reviewed it that way, huh? No, that's alright. This paint looks really good. On the belt and stuff. Just comparing it to this other one. Yeah, they both have kind of this like black weathering kind of on the belt. But yeah, um, some of the other statistics on this guy. Um, like I mentioned, he's released in 2003. Or sorry, 2013. <clears throat> he retailed for $9.99. Currently sells from anywhere from $60 to $100. Uh, and didn't have any other repacks except for this one with the green packaging. So yeah, cool. Glad to have finally opened that one. Let's go ahead and move on to the last one. Alright, here's the last one. <clears throat> Out of these four figures, um, this is the uh, Vintage Collection Django Fett. Um, made by Kenner. Which is, yes, Hasbro owned brand. Um, Kenner was the company to make the first uh, action figures. Um, they kind of rock the vintage thing. Even with new figures from The Mandalorian coming out, they still style them to look like vintage action figures. Um, <clears throat> but this one's definitely got some cool, unique things about it. I don't know, but we'll see in just a minute, even closer before I open it. Um, unopened, this thing sells for $100 even more. Um, these vintage, this vintage series is highly collectible. Just the bubble looks really good and you can see the figure really well. So you don't really need to open it and just, yeah, the vintage line is a popular one for collectors. And then when I open it, <laughs> it's probably going to devalue it to like closer to $30. So, but I am not really an inbox collector. Some things I leave in the boxes, like this was in a box for a long time and I really enjoyed it, but the day has come time to open up this baby. All right, I didn't do a too job cutting this one open. Too bad of a job cutting this one open. Look at that box, still intact. Still looks good. Um, this one wasn't resealed like the other one, so it wasn't nearly as hard to get off. Yeah, there he is inside his little bubble. Let's go ahead and pop him out. Check him out. See what this dude's all about. All right, so some things first off, off the bat. Blasters don't look like anything special. Um, he has really cool the wrist gauntlet blades on him. So that's really awesome. No other figure has that. Um, looking holsters just like the other one. That's great. Um, this one has an added detail. It's got the line for the holster that this is like supposed to be attached to to hold on to the leg. Um, the other ones don't have that a little drawn on detail. Um, the armor underneath the poncho is the same from what I can tell. Um, I probably won't take the poncho off just because I do like how that separates this one from the other figures. Um, I'll probably find a way to display it and pose it to show off the wrist gauntlets as well because that's uh, that holster works but not very well. <laughs> Blaster doesn't want to go in there. 
but yeah, probably just play it in a way to show off these wrist blades, because that's definitely unique and cool about this figure. Let's see if it has the same head sculpt. Ah, it seems to be a little bit better. I mean, it's still from the same mold, which doesn't look great, but the overall paint job seems to be a little more detailed, a little better. Okay, there he is without the helmet. Put that back on. Um, just seems to be like a higher quality figure overall. Seems like they just spent more time doing it. Um, this one also comes with the headgear. The interior of the headgear is more of that, like a bluish color. The other one is the same, the inside and outside. It's just a gray. This one has like a blue inner lining to it. Um, his gloves are black too, and that's different from the other ones. They just have the same color as the, the flight suit on these ones. And this one also comes with the Camino jetpack. And this one looks way better than most jetpacks. I think it's different from any any of the three and three quarter inch I have. Yeah, that's way more detailed. It has these two little spikes on the side, which most jetpacks don't have. And you can stick it on there right through the poncho. Um, unique paint job on this one. Um, has like a white tip and a white part right here. Usually these are just left silver, which is more screen accurate anyway. Um, and then it has a really cool like flame, I guess uh, plastic effect thing they put on there, which is really cool. No other figure has that. That is really awesome. So yeah, tons of unique fun stuff about this figure. The poncho, the wrist gauntlets and the flame uh, Camino jetpack. That's really, really cool. <laughs> really like this figure. Um, that is a cool one to have indeed, um, and definitely like, um, if you don't count the titanium die cast, this is, ah, this is probably the most expensive of the three and three quarter inches, um, which makes sense, it comes with a cool, a lot of really cool details and um, accessories, um, and it's part of the popular uh, vintage line. So this one originally retailed for $7.99. And then, as I mentioned, buying this new goes for $100, up to $200 sometimes, very expensive. It was released in 2001. Um, and it also has no repacks. If you want to get it, you gotta get it in that uh, vintage line. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. This was a really fun one, cool one for me to do to finally open um, these two. And some really cool figures overall. Um, the only complaint, you know, kind of those holsters and the head sculpt is my favorite. But really poseable, really cool, and fun action figures. Thanks for watching, and stick around for the other three and three quarter inch videos. Uh, if we don't have too many more, and then we'll put them all together and check them out in one big video. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. I'm a bastard beast and I have to feast I uh, surpass the weed, I'm a show capacity I'm underestimated, highly educated So if I drop the track, I bet you hate it Medicated, but I'm